Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 guide on how to farm the Holiday Scorched. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. All right, so this Holiday Scorched is the event where you kill uh, Scorched who are dressed in sort of uh, Santa Claus or a blue suit you know, uh, the Christmas style outfits and they make the jingle jingle sound so if you kill those you're guaranteed to get a legendary and one of the gifts so, uh, whoops, uh, there we go so when you're killing them you can get neither a large holiday gift uh, neither a holiday gift, which is the medium one and a small holiday gift, right? so when you're opening these gifts you, you're guaranteed to get uh, plants, aid uh, what else? Some alcohol and whatever. <laughs> Coal. So I haven't been opening all those. Uh, on the first video that I made two days ago, I've opened one small, one medium, and one large. And by the way, when you're opening large and medium, by the way, uh, you also get caps, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, and before we continue, I would like to ask you a quick question. Because I'm planning to save my holiday gifts until one of the two days. Uh, let me know which do you think is the best day to open... Uh, these gifts and make a video on it, right? So I was thinking either Christmas, the 25th of December, or the Happy New Year, the the end of this month. So please let me know in the comments down below what do you think would be the best day to make this unwrapping video. <laughs> I, man, I imagine how many gifts I'm gonna have by that time. <laughs> Alright, so the other way how you can obtain those gifts is by visiting one of the vendors, it doesn't matter which one, and I believe if you go to MISC, you can buy the unwrapping things and uh, make your own. So these are the prices, and uh, if you were, for example, a perk card which gives them better deals, you'll get a more cheaper price, plus the higher your charisma is, and you'll get even cheaper prices. As you can see, my prices drop a little bit, right? So once you buy these, I mean, they're still pricey though. <laughs> so I would go like for the high quality ones, but I'm sort of out of caps. But anyway, so uh, once you buy those, you will need the Tinker uh, Workbench to make them. So you click on Craft, you navigate to the gifts, and I already have one. Uh, just before we craft it, let me just sort of remember how many of small gifts 72 right so if we go ahead and craft that right now bam and now we should be having 73 no we don't lol so what the hell are what wait what didn't I have seven okay I'm totally lost here what the hell just happened I thought that's how this thing works, no? Gift, small gift, handmade. Yeah, hold on. I thought it would just add to whatever you have. One sec, let me check it out. This is the first time I'm making this, so I might be mistaken. Oh no, it's totally different. <laughs> so you get the small handmade holiday gift. Lol, I thought it was going to add up to my one because I really don't want to spend caps on these things let's see what we get if we open this thing broken camera, plan baton <laughs> and alcohol you see so yeah it pretty much works exactly the same as the uh, holiday gifts that once you loot from Scorched and handmade well uh, I might gonna go for the high quality ones in case if I get a hold of uh, some quick and easy caps so that's another way how you can get those uh, holiday gifts right alright now let's talk about the events uh, there are events that can get you scorched so first of all uh, the first one is this one right here in Fort Defiance it's called line in the sand I have my patch notes over there so if you see me look in that direction been uh, <laughs> editing those and filling it all the time so if you see here uh, over here maximum that I got was three Santos um, minimum one <laughs> but I always got a Santa which is a good thing then bot parade bot parade only in case if uh, actually scorched appear I know if you see a bot parade over here is definitely scorched me and uh, Benji were there and we got like five just from one event 
so that was the maximum I got and the minimum I got was three so it's a really good one other bot parades as I said all depends on the scorched and once again it's based on luck basically the more scorched in the location the higher chance that you'll get a Santa scorch right then there are uh, distant thunder if you see an event popping any over here distant thunder is when a lot of scorched appear and maximum I got from uh, doing the distance thunder was two <laughs> but maybe it's my luck basically I think you can get even more uh, the another event which is the super coolest of all events of all times because right now we also have the double XP it's called uh, air to surface I believe and if you see it popping in this firebase that is the best because there is this fissure site right next to the missile launcher and Scorch Beast keeps spawning from that fissure site and if you're quick enough you can take those Scorch Beasts down before they actually get to fly and the Scorch Beasts they give a lot of XP plus they spawn Scorched so uh, I got around 6 Santas that was my maximum that I ever got from doing this event but I killed a lot of Scorched because if, luckily for me I mean this thing popped up twice in this location and I got a lot of good XP uh, in terms of doing that event so definitely if you see uh, air surface or surface to air I don't remember exactly how it's called visit that event because it gives you a lot of XP and, and it, it always will guarantee to give you a Santa and another option is by visiting one sec let me check maybe we're lucky and we get a Santa ah we get a Santa <laughs> is by visiting Fazur sites so since yesterday I was getting lucky with these Fazur sites and I make sure to visit uh, the Fazur sites all the time so here we go as I said you get a legendary guaranteed and you get a gift guaranteed so if Fazur I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing this thing again uh, I am from Ukraine have that in mind so if I do mispronounce stuff I do apologize uh, but that's where you get so I make sure to visit them every time I have my own uh, sort of roadmap how I do it starting from my camp so if that is if you want me to cover a video of my routine how I do it I'll be more than happy to do it just let me know in the comments if you would like for me to do that one but I uh, want to take a couple of more days before I do it because I want to check a little bit more locations to make a really good you know kind of like uh, route because I personally really don't like server hopping so I try to make my guides like so you just stay on one server right so make sure to visit them Fizzur sites and uh, you will definitely have a chance to get yourself a Santa so over here all the Fizzur sites that I've currently unlocked and there's one more I haven't unlocked and there's one more I haven't unlocked Jesus I still need to unlock so many <laughs> alright so I will definitely do that uh, actually, I started to get lucky with the Fizzur site after they uh, made an, uh, an update yesterday. Because on the first day, I was super unlucky with those Fizzur sites. But Terminator, our Z Clan member, said that he was very lucky with the Fizzur sites because he was getting good loot and other stuff. So I gave it a try yesterday once again and actually got to be lucky. So this is uh, the Fizzur sites, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's cover the locations that always give me a setup but as you may guess this is my first fa top number one favorite location and this is the first location that ever crossed my mind when uh, this holiday started if you remember uh, the first video when I was doing the daily challenges or I came to this place and I found a small medium and a large gift at the same time so that was pretty cool so Big Ben tunnel over here from these runs maximum I got was five Santas in one run minimum two Santas uh, also, I've seen a comment uh, that someone was very lucky. He got 10 Santas. I'm not sure how if that's legit, but uh, 10 Santas, that's, that's, you gotta be, I think, extremely lucky. So if you're extremely lucky, sometimes you'll get a Santa outside over here. This time, in this case, I wasn't. But let's go ahead inside and see how many Santas we get inside. And then we, if we run outside, there's also a chance to get a Santa because we're gonna run out from another entrance. Alright, so once inside, all you gotta do is just run pretty much straight and uh, you will have a chance. Oh, there you go, first Santa, that's one. 
And where's another Kokoro? She's usually hiding somewhere here. No Kokoros this time, eh? Right? Okay, fine. Where's my Senna? Hey! Ah, oh, there you go. Holiday gift? Are you serious? Man, why is that whenever I'm doing a video, I always get killed? It's just like, I don't know, bad luck or something. So, we got one Senna so far. Run straight. Straight, 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 straight. Okay, we got more dudes over here. Another Santa, that's two. So, uh, run straight again. Let's see if I'm gonna be lucky here. There's a lot of scores in this area. Lucky this time. So so far we got two Santas. So I run straight again. Oh my God, this vast thing is just insane. Hey, where you go? By the way, there are some more scores in this small tunnel, so you might want to run there as well. But usually you can hear the jingle uh, popping out if uh, he's actually here. I had one Santa in this location as well. I mean, in this sort of secret passage or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, so far we got two. Man, I guess this is the unlucky run. So now we're going to be exiting the location from this side over here. Let's go and see if we're going to get one more Santa. So we're exiting and we have one more Santa, so that's three Santas already. What's up, what's up? Let's see if we're gonna get one more. Usually there's like two over here outside. Me and Benji were here doing the bot parade when we got like four uh, Santas doing the bot parade, not far from this area. And then we came here and there was another two, so we got like six Santas, it was just crazy. <laughs> so, no more jiggle jiggle, no? No jiggle jiggle? No jiggle jiggle. Okay, screw those guys then. So. Mm, yeah. There's no bot parade over here, unfortunately. Alright. Let's go to the next favorite location that guaranteed gives you a Santa. Well, in my case, that is. Oh yeah, by the way, a quick tip, if you're going to that location, make sure to stop by this place because sometimes it also gives a Santa. Uh, it's on my visit list, but not always, So because th there aren't a lot of Scorched here appearing, So, but it usually gives me a Santa. That's the drop site, the V1, but we're going to Glass Cavern, so Glass Cavern is a really good location. Well, might as well take out the Fissure sites as well because you will have a chance to uh, also get one more Santa. So this is a good thing. <laughs> All right, just in case for those who do not know where the entry is, you gotta jump down here, right? In the glass cavern and walk into this door right here. So once you enter, uh, there is a high chance that you're gonna get a Santa right at the start. And then there are chances that you get a, a more Santa as well you travel, right? Uh, the only thing is, I would recommend to do it really quickly because there are enemies here, uh, such as Mylar Kings and Mylurks, and they can kill your Scorched Santa for you. And if that happens, you will not get the loot. So, in, what I would advise you is to quickly, quickly run, run, run through this area so you don't end up encountering a dead Santa and get disappointed that uh, usually there would be a Santa right here but not in my case too bad so I'm gonna do this run with you guys real quick oh there we go Santa! bam I told you oh and a large gift what's up Con dead <laughs> so you gotta do let for those who do not know this actually you know what let me just run through this thing because not a lot of people do this you can actually hear the jingles so if you don't really care about the kills just run through and stop if you hear the jingles 
uh, so you take out the Santa. So there are no jingles here, so there are some sports here, and nobody's jingling, jingling, so we just run, run, run before those stupid mylers kill our next target. Oh, by the way, over here I usually get Santas. Sometimes, I, I, once I even got two Santas over here. Oh my god, my AP. Oh wow, this time no Santas. Well, that freaking sucks. By the way, if you're in the need for acid, make sure to uh, ch take a look at the dead crickets. They usually give a lot of acid as well. Uh, this is actually a really good place to stop by to farm acid. Man, where are you guys coming from? Alright, run, 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 run. See, that's the kings over there, and they can kill your targets for you. Okay, we didn't hear no jiggles. Run, 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 run. Hey, my beer is ready and I got 10 more atoms. Ah, I already completed all that. So these kings can kill your targets over here. You see, if I wouldn't run, that Santa would be dead by now. And I would find him laying around and I wouldn't get my loot. So that would really suck. So afterwards, that, that's pretty much it. That was this, this guy was the last guy to kill. Uh, over here there's a lot of crickets so make sure to uh, take a look at their bodies to get your acid right because there's a lot of acid here just in, it works only once a day so definitely put this location to your mass travel list uh, then if you're lucky you'll get a legendary boss or piece over here in my case I got a one star I don't know why don't you just give me a break and just die thank you very much oh no wait no, ah, don't don't fall in there. All right, cool. Uh, the last scorch will be that guy over there. Uh, very rare case scenario. He's gonna be a Santa. Let's check it out. No, come on. And basically, you don't have to run all the way up. This is where you can leave the area. If you like looting things and looting guns in order to scrap things, you will have a scrapping uh, work or weapon bench. Uh, as soon as we end, exit out of here, uh, but you can't go back into the caverns this way <laughs> because the button is broken <laughs> from the top. So, bam! See, it won't work. Oops, not working. And there you go. You can scrap the things, and you're pretty much good. Let's go to our next location, which guarantee gives us it. All right, so our next guaranteed location will be Batoga Civic Center. So this is where you end up if you fast travel, and that's the door you'll need to Welcome use in order to enter it. There are always scores over there. There are a lot of them. This place is a little bit complicated. It's like a freaking Minotaur's labyrinth, to be honest. Like I've been here a couple of times, and I still can't memorize the paths how you can go through here. But uh, every time I come here, it usually gives me one to two, three Santas per run. So we don't heal no jiggles. We just run this thing really fast because we need to get here. And this is where. Oh, you can hear jiggles. <laughs> Ooh, and the three star. What's up, man? How you doing? And a large gift. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, wow. That's a good one, by the way. Weapon reduction and the... Yo, I'm keeping that piece. Hello, hello. What's up, what's up? And basically, just clear out this area. As I said, this thing is very complicated. Uh, but definitely, there's going to be at least one Santa. Now, let's go to the next location. Alright, so the next two locations will be more for, actually three locations, for lower levels. Uh, this is the first one, many of you already know this location is the Camden Park. Uh, over here I usually get around one, two, I think I, maximum I had six of them here. Yeah, I remember Benji got three Santas at the same time just in this location right here. So, this location also guaranteed to spawn uh, Scorch. So there we go, we already got our first Santa right there, in the blue suit. So come here, thank you very much. Then you can run that location over there, there's gonna be a few more dudes. 
There you go, another Santa. That's two. Thank you very much. And let's go to one more location. I mean, same place. Just another location where scores will appear. That's over there. And do we hear jiggles? No jiggle. That means no Santa. No jiggle. So pretty much. Let's go to the next location. There's no more Santas. So this time, just got to. <laughs> Let's go to the next location. Guaranteed to get. All right, next location is the uh, Harvey uh, Industrial Headquarters. Right, so you will. Oh my God. She just had to start talking right now, didn't she? Shut up. <laughs> so this is where you end up once you're fast traveling what you need to do is just navigate to that door over there by the way you know what I've noticed that uh, if you're going to a location that it's like sort of inside the location uh, the chances of encountering a Santa is just wow it's big so uh, definitely when I've come here not a single time there wasn't a single time that I wouldn't get a Santa but at the moment we hear no jiggles Jiggle! Let's make some noise. Jiggle! Hello! Daddy home! Turn on the jiggle! Are you kidding me? No? No jiggles. Well that sucks. This pretty much means that this is gonna be the first time you're not gonna get a Santa if you come here. Lol. I usually get my Santas. Well, that sort of sucks. Hello? Okay, I guess this time it's not a lucky run. Uh, but as I said, this place always has scorched, and as I said, it is based on your luck. So the more scores, the higher the chance that you'll get at least one Santa. But in my case, for this location, this is the first time I didn't get a Santa. <laughs> I actually had like uh, like five Santas in this location. It was pretty cool. Let's go to the next one. Alright, the next location is this baby right here. It also spawns a lot of uh, scores. It's called the AVR Medical Center and you will need to go inside because inside there are a lot of low level scores by the way this is a really good area for low levels as well because it's a low level area and over here maximum I got three three Santas yeah and definitely one Santa so once you enter inside just listen for the jiggle 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 Wake up! You might want to throw a couple of grenades to make you do that. Wake up! Oh yeah, the other thing is, the other thing is, what I've uh, actually forgot to mention is that uh, I've noticed that sometimes... Oh no, I just exited the location. Crap. Uh, that That is a very big place, so definitely you'll get a scent over there. Let's just skip it because I'm just going to... This video is going to be turn out to be a really huge if I'm going to go into detail with every single location. But that location definitely gives Santa's trust me on my word and do apologize I exit it. But as I said, try to throw a couple of grenades to wake them up so you can hear the jiggle jiggle thing. Alright, uh, let me just share the locations uh, by showing you them on the map and reading my notes over there from the other screen. The thing is, I just double checked and it turns out I'm already 25 minutes long. And if I keep it this up, this video is going to turn out to be over 40 minutes long, if not more. So, uh, we've ended with the location over here, AVR Medical Center. The next thing is also low level area. The Poseidon energy power plant. Uh, usually, I find them inside, not outside. But I also did find them, find them outside. Uh, then, uh, what was it? The abandoned mine. I think one of these mines. I don't remember which one. Ex no, I think is bleaching. Wait, I have it in my nose. Oh crap! I didn't save that one last time. 
I think it's this one right here. Uh, remember when you had to do the fire in order to get the full fire outfit from the responders? Over there is course as well. It's one of these three mines I really don't remember. I think it's this one though. And uh, I found there I think three Santos if not more. Uh, then, 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 then. Over here, sometimes, because a new glad may be super mutants, may be scorched, may be something else, but if it's scorched, usually I get a Santa as well. Uh, the Morgantown Airport, I found two. S I wasn't very lucky to be honest with this event. I mean, with this location. So I found like maybe two, but inside, not outside. Outside was super unlucky. Uh, then. Da, da, da. Okay, check, check, check. Okay, Valerie Galarea, uh, where Benji has his camp. Uh, guaranteed to get a Santa. Uh, maximum I got here was four Santas. Two outside, two inside. Sometimes one outside, sometimes zero outside. But if you go inside, you'll definitely find yourself a Santa. From not 100% guaranteed locations, that would be Harper's Ferry. If it's scorched, you will definitely get a Santa over there. Um, minimum I got was one, and maximum. Maximum I got is four. Four. That's good. Uh, then check out Sunny Top Ski Lines. Uh, there's a pretty uh, a lot of these locations over here. This is not 100% because there's a mix of uh, other uh, creatures popping, such as super mutants and mole rats and uh, no mole mole miners and other guys most probably. <clears throat> but these are the ones I definitely encounter, and uh, if it's scorched, kill, take them out, and you will definitely have a chance of getting uh, scores. Oh, by the way, one more thing, I forgot, uh, the Thunder Mountain, uh, usually scores are uh, guarding this workshop here, and uh, once Benji got three at the same time, so that was really nice. Afterwards, I uh, found some inside as well, so this is a definitely uh, a place that I stop by when I'm uh, uh, making my routine. And Thunder Mountain check, Horner Industrial HQ check, Country Park check, Moss Down. Moss Down, not always, but there is a chance that you will get them because turns out uh, sometimes it can happen that uh, instead of scores, there are ticks. <laughs> Usually there's always scores. I was pretty surprised yesterday to find ticks yesterday over there. So uh, I don't know. I don't know why. I thought it was 100% guaranteed for scores. But anyway, you have a Fazir site here, so you're definitely gonna end up going there and just ro run down and check if there are any Santas over there as well. Uh, not always, but Braxton Quality Medical Center also has scores, so that's also a visit. And I think. That's it. Watoga Civic Center, Glass Caverns, Big Bend Tunnel, Sunny Top Skin uh, Heaven Church. Heaven Church. Uh, they have a mix with ghouls, so if it's scorched, you might gonna get a Santa. If if it's ghouls, well, obviously you're not gonna get a Santa. Uh, and that is so far. The that is so far. That's it. I need to check more locations, but these are the ones that I. Ah, oh, wait. These stars, Firebase, uh, uh, these stars over here, check them out because they also have a randomized, but most in most cases it's uh, scorched, but there are not a lot of them, so in that case, uh, the chance of getting a center is also pretty low. And final location I just remembered was Camp Ventura. Uh, they are always scorched on top uh, with ghouls, but if you go up, uh, you also have a chance to get a Santa. I not always get Santas over there, but I got them, so that's pretty much it. Um, I still have a lot of research to do, and if I'll find more locations and, I'll s and they're gonna be like beneficial or good to know, you know, then am I gonna make a follow up uh, farming guide within the next few days? Not tomorrow, definitely. I wanna keep. Uh, checking out locations and provide you with the guarantee. So my favorite locations that I definitely go to uh, is the Big Bend Tunnel, Fizur's, uh the Glass Cavern, the Valeria Galeria, whatever, uh, the Camden Park, always. Matoga Civic Center, by the way, I forgot about it. It's, as I said, it's a very complicated location. That's why I sometimes do not go there. But if, like, 
I run through everything, then that's the next thing I'm going for. Uh, Camden Park. Oh yeah, the HQ. But for some reason, I wasn't lucky this time. Usually, there's always a center. So as I said, as I said, it, there is a chance that you get. But those are lo locations that were very, very, very uh, generous to me. <laughs> and by the way, let's check how many gifts I already have. So I already got 10 large gifts. Uh, 27 holiday gifts and 75 while I was doing this video. <laughs> Alright guys, y'all have happy hunting. So please do comment down below when do you think would be a good idea for me to open my gifts. The 25th or 26th of December, like morning after Christmas, or, or on the Happy New Year on the 31st of December. So, Z-Clan and everybody else, I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you did, you know the drill. Do not forget to leave the like comment down below. Please do not use profanity as those comments are not visible to other users. I do receive them, I read them, but I delete them and have that in mind, so no ad bombs, alright? Don't promote third party website, let's sell guns, camp services, whatever, for real money, because that is something I do not support, and if you're to promote such activity, you will get banned. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan, I'm Gamer Z-Sol from Ukraine, so have from Ukraine. I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, please do help me out uh, with my channel to grow is by sharing it somewhere in the media, such as Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media, or recommend me to a friend that you think is going to enjoy this type of content. So, Z-Clan, everybody else, you all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys like it, and I'll see you on the next video. By the way, don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on the daily uploads or the streams that I do on this channel. Bye.